Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK and I wanted to start with a quick apology for not having a load of videos in the last couple of weeks. Um, we've just been super busy with some um, family plans that have been going on and um, actually getting out and seeing people socially distanced um, which has then been really overwhelming for the children who haven't had that experience in a while and then we've had a couple had to have days to recover and so on so it's been a bit mad and I'm but I'm getting back to videos I filmed a load ahead of time so you're gonna have some really good videos coming up so this is part two of our bean study and I know that part one of the bean study did not go as well as planned and I did plan on filming the children doing the writing activities that follow that but they, none of them were in the mood so this is one of the beans that we planted we had three seeds um, in each so you've got one that's popped up above the soil you've got another one here and then you've got another one just here you can just about see it so all three this is Bessie's jar all three have germinated and they're coming in different stages we're really excited about those um, I think Charles has only got two that are coping one has snapped and died it grew too tall too quickly before we could get a skewer in and um, Albert drowned his because he watered them too much so we're going to replant his and start again for him but a few of you were asking what I did for to encourage writing and the other side the more um theory and academic side of the bean study and this is what I've got to show you so they're all a bit wet because we've literally just finished doing them so first of all I downloaded these worksheets from Twinkle which are the life cycle sheets now Twinkle is really really good you can see these little stars and one star each star is each star section is a different ability level so for example this is star level one and this is for a lower ability group now this is the one that Albert did because he's four and he can still join in but he can do the lower ability so it has the words already printed on the piece of paper and then you need to cut out and stick on the pictures in the right place now I read the words for Albert and he stuck them in the right place and here we go I think he did a really good job and he really really enjoyed it which was really really good he enjoyed being able to do what the big kids were doing and have a go so next we have ability level two which is kind of mid-range and this was Bessie who is seven and working at a kind of um because we do a Finnish type of education where they don't start formal education until they're seven she's kind of reception grade and she had to stick both the words and the pictures on I did read them for her because she's still not a confident reader and but she stuck them all in the right place which is why the bean is not at the top because she decided to put it here but as you can see it goes around nicely and she has uh, completed the activity very well so next you have Charles now the idea is that he would write a sentence in each of these spaces but he's we've had a couple of days this week where we've seen we've had outdoor play dates and he's been really kind of struggling with a bit of social overwhelm uh, we think we need to kind of ease back into it gently excuse me <laughs> so he has been regressing quite a lot and it's kind of like I'm dealing with a five-year-old um although he's nine he's acting more like a five-year-old so there's lots of things he refuses to do and lots of things he doesn't want to do and he uses baby language and he acts a bit like more babyish than um, a nine-year-old normally would and so it's kind of navigating that and then adapting his education so it fits who he is in that moment not who he is not his chronological age so he drew his pictures you've got a bean and then you've got a bean plant with roots and leaves and then you've got a bean plant with roots leaves and flowers and then you've got a bean pod and he has written the keywords which are bean bean plant flowers and bean pod and i was happy with that because he'd done a lot of writing this was the last writing activity he did he'd done a lot of writing today for him and i was really pleased with that and that is level right ability level three so that's a higher ability and because they are four seven and nine that means that I just downloaded, downloaded one resource and I used all three of the things in that resource for their different abilities also we downloaded this the bean plant diary word map and it's got everything in precursive and all the things that you might need for your bean plant experiment and then the next thing we downloaded was the bean plant diaries so I'll show you a blank one first so here it is so lower lower ability stars you can see they did have higher ability ones again within the um 
within the resource but I decided to just do the lower ability one. So they've got the nice picture on the front and then you've got your equipment, what you need, draw a picture, a draw a picture and annotate it if you feel like it, um, the equipment that you're going to need and then you've got instructions so which are later on in the booklet you can cut them out and then stick them on in the correct order so it shows you watering a sauce watering a saucepan <laughs> watering a plant pot the sun shining on a plant pot soil going in the plant pot and a bean going in the plant pot and obviously i think we can probably work out what order that needs to be and then it has your bean plant diary so you have week one week two week three and week four it's got a picture for you to draw what you see my bean is however centimeters tall and then a brief some words some lines there to do something now if your child's not writing yet that's fine don't do anything just draw a picture it's just all about observation still scientific op science is so much about observation that's just going to be perfect to do that um and then other if you want to write a sentence or write a keyword so roots leaves flower bean um you can do that as well so i'm going to show you bessie so bessie is seven and working at a reception level and she's drawn here I believe she said um soil water a jar and some beans and then she's in done her instructions then she's done week one which is the bean with some roots and she said my bean is zero centimeters tall and written the word and if you can see roots then she's drawn what her bean looks like now with the leaves above She's written, my bean is five centimetres tall. We got the tape measure out and we measured it, which was fun. And she's written leaves, which is very cool. And then you can go back the rest. Obviously, she hasn't got anything anything else to do yet because it's not any of the other weeks. And at the end, you've got, it goes up to week five. And then you've got, what do plants need? Things that plants need to grow. So in that, we're going to draw nutrients, water, plants, nutrients, water and sunshine. And then I'm going to ask her to write those keywords on the list. So here's Charles's. Charles is working at about a year two level. He is nine. Um, again, he didn't start formal education until he was almost seven. So as he started, he's on track and doing very well. But compared to a child who would be who's in school, who is on track for where they are in school, he's about two years behind. So he's written his name, his full name, and he's done a smiley face. Oh, it's got a bit stuck together. So he has annotated his. He's written soil water jar and bean with his bits there and he's done the instructions again which is exactly the same and then he's done what looks like a spider if you ask me and he has written the sentence my bean grew roots and then his next page he's just drawn some leaves very nicely in fact and written and this point we had a conversation in between week one and we, the week one page and the week two page and i said i appreciate that you're he was really struggling today so you're really struggling right now and that we're we're regressing we're feeling very little and that you want me to treat you like you're little because that's making you feel safe right now and that's fine um but i prefer big boy handwriting and big boy drawing so you can be little right now, so mummy can look after you like you're little and that will make you feel better. But I need you to do big boy drawing and big boy writing. And he was okay with that. So he's done some better writing there. And uh, he's just forgetting his finger spaces a lot. So it's all, it looks like one big sentence, bless him. But it says, the bean came up through the soil and grew leaves. And uh, then we will do week three together next time. So those were the bits that we have used and the whole, my, my kids are all reluctant writers. They do not like writing. Um, I think it really tires them out, if I'm honest. Like their hands get really tired and they have, they've all, they're all slightly delayed with their fine motor skills. And there is something to do, especially with, with Albert isn't, but the big two are delayed in fine motor skills. Um, and that is definitely something that's connected to the autism. Um, so it can be really tricky for them and I know that it will come eventually and we're just, um, you know, we're a lot further behind with their writing than they are with reading or maths or anything like that. So I know it will come and if your child is also struggling with writing or a reluctant writer, um, they'll come They'll come round eventually. They will not be illiterate when they're 18. They'll keep working at it and they will get the hang of it. I am going to be sharing some recommended resources for reluctant writers in a later video that I'm really enjoying and the kids are really enjoying um, in the hope that it helps um, somebody as well.
Thank you so much for joining us for this video and I will see you on Friday for another one. Thanks so much, have a great week, bye!